Hello guys and welcome back to the bench and today we're going to be going over the Harder and Steinbeck or Steinbeck uh, Colani Airbrush uh, a German company uh, with an Italian named airbrush I am Italian I'm guessing uh, Colani Colani is Italian um, it is a very unique airbrush and I'll show you a close-up in uh, just a second um, it comes in a wide variety of uh, needle and nozzle sizes. I think from a 0.15 all the way to a 1.2. So you could probably paint actual car parts uh, with this thing with the larger needle sizes. And the cup is actually quite large too to hold a lot of paint. So I'm guessing that's maybe that's this thing's purpose. But the fact that it goes all the way down to a 0.15 and all the way up to there says so it's, it's a jack of all trades. <clears throat> um, for the video, it came with a 0.4 millimeter, and I had this come with it. This is a 0.8 needle. I think instead of going all the way up, 0.8. So it's got the needle and the nozzle in here. So uh, we'll swap it up, and uh, let's get this guy out of here. And uh, we'll see how that works. And I'm going to spray just a few varieties here. Not going to go crazy. You just want to see how it performs. We'll try both needles, too. And... Um, See if we can shoot. I'm actually going to try and shoot unthinned paint. So we're going to try this uh, to me acrylic. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stir it up and pour it in. I'm not going to put any thinner in the 0.8 and see if it can push it out. Just curious. So we'll do a primer. We'll do one of my primers from my uh, Mecha Empire Air Force line. This is a pre-thinned primer. We'll do a regular lacquer. We'll do my blue here from my M Mecha Empire lineup. And then we'll, we'll try this acrylic uh, model air, which goes straight into the airbrush. And uh, we'll put the primer on one of these air. And maybe we'll do one side, the red primer. One side, this is a black all-clad primer. So we'll see how that works. So, with that, let's take a look at the brush. Is there a book in there? Oh, there it is. All right, let me get this cover out of the way. All right, let's see what we got. And there we go. It is quite unique in that you th you're looking for a trigger, but uh, it's actually up here. It's like they reversed the trigger. And um, as you can see, it's got an indent where your finger lays into it perfectly. Now, the only part that needs to be cleaned is this little part. It's about an inch and a half. See it? The cup is here. And that's it. The needle is all exposed out here. This is, I'm guessing, very well sealed off. So no paint should come through. So this is the only part you're going to be cleaning. This uh, it's quite innovative. And I believe you can adjust the spring nozzle from here. And you can stretch the back out here. Okay, here's the tensioner. Here it is. See the spring? Now we can tighten the spring up to make it a little stiffer. Oh, yeah, I can feel it already. Wow, really stiff. I back it off. Oh, yeah, a little easier. Actually, I like that right there. That's good. And now, um, depending on your hand size, you can put these spacers. Can you see these rings? There's two different sizes, so let's take the larger one. And she fits right in. And now, when this goes in, it'll butt against that. Give you another. Well, I even like that. I like that better. And you can add both if you want to stretch it out even wider. If you have even bigger hands. This is kind of made for all kinds of hand sizes by adjusting it just with that alone. Now, I thought it stood like this when I saw it and you, and you spray it. It feels kind of uncomfortable, but then I realized when I pulled it off to adjust it, you're just going to flip it up. Now, now it's comfortable. Um, I think after a long stretches it will be uncomfortable um, just holding it and getting used to it. I could tell the hand would cramp a bit, but it depends how long you're going to be working for. It's hard for me to tell um, when I build a model. I like to paint everything at once, and but when I'm doing these videos, I'm only painting little bits at a time. Now, uh, let me show you how to take the needle off, and I'm going to show you the cup size in a second. So basically, it's like any other one. You're just going to unscrew here. And you're just going to take it right out. Look at that needle. That, that is a thick needle. The, the tip, obviously, ends up being a 4 millimeter, 0.4. But uh, 
the end here is really durable. I mean, it's a really thick uh, rod, um, needle size, the diameter. And um, the front just comes straight off. You have the protective cap, as always. And this has their simple system of this is the whole mechanism. This is it, just the two pieces. All right. And that's it. And uh, it's simple to replace. And there it is. That's the set right there, the same two. It just matches the needle size. Now, um, for cleaning it, I like to use these uh, gum, G-U-M, I guess they got yeah, dashes between them. These are for uh, dental cleaning. I just dip these little acetone, or it depends whatever I'm working with, hot water if it's acrylic, and then just clean that right out. And these also work good for this little area. You can just go right in, and you're going to get right inside. Yeah. And clean it right out so really easy to clean really really easy to clean um, if that's what you're looking for it's probably worth it it's not cheap this is two hundred and sixty six dollars I don't want to say cheap it's not you know it's not very inexpensive um, my other hotter and Steinbeck was three hundred and fifty so it's less than that um, so let's go ahead and put the needle back in we're gonna start with the point four just go straight right in really really simple to use okay now you're wondering left-handed right here comes with the tool see it it's a wrench here and then this I think is your adjuster at the back end right in here it, it's a it's a universal tool but what you do is you take this thread out and this flips over and it becomes a left-handed so you get the uh, trigger ball mechanism here on the other side. So yeah, and that's what this is for. It just flips over. That's why that is there, and that's why it comes with this tool. Let's put that back. So they thought of everything. They did think of everything. Now let me show you the cup. The cup is huge. Um, it doesn't get in the way. Uh, it might get in the way here, but I think... Um, by looking at the uh, the manual, it shows uh, its air pressure, which is up there, like 28, 26 to 28. So it calls for a high air pressure. So I think you know you can probably be pretty far from the piece when you're spraying. Uh, we will find that out. But here's the thing: now they sell these uh, all these cups at Spray Gunner, so you can get an extra cup for our Hotter and Steinbeck. They're actually an official distributor, so they have many of these parts in stock. So I took my Hotter and Steinbeck Evolution. Yeah. I love this airbrush. Let's put that aside. And check this out. It fits. It's universal. So when you buy one of their cups, you're just basically probably going to get just one of them. Now, it's no bigger than any of the other ones that I use uh, in the old model room. So there you go. You can't beat it. Um... I'm figuring if you bought a tiny no a needle, this four and maybe an eight or even the one, then even though your investment's going to be up there a little bit, you're going to have this will do it all. You're going to have it all and it's going to be easy to change it. And nothing gets easier than this to change the needle and nozzle. Um, that's for sure. So, uh, and also, speaking of that one, my little stand, it comes with the quick release. Is it? Check this out. Oh, it, so it even works with my stands. It even comes with a quick release. It can't be beat. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to do a couple um, with the four and a couple with the uh, with the eight needle nozzle or even just one, just to see how the how much air it pushes out. And um, that's it. I'll uh, I'll clean it out once. Show you how we clean it. It's pretty easy. And then. That's it. We'll go over everything else. Anyway, let's head over to the new booth, the new Pace spray booth, which I absolutely love. And it's actually running right now. That's how quiet it is. And uh, let's go ahead and test this Kalani airbrush out. All right, guys, here we are at the Pace spray booth. I will have a link below for the booth where I got it. Uh, love this thing. Uh, you don't need one this big, I guess, uh, for most of your needs. Um, I do so much in the booth that I figured bigger is better for the channel, but they make a small one, half the price, quiet, the fans running full, love this thing. I got this at uh, Target, Walmart, the, the filter pads are sold everywhere, air filters, wonderful everywhere. So anyway, um, 
It's hard for this thing to fit in all kinds of uh, holders, but this holder I have that I got on Amazon, check this out. It holds it. <laughs> I happen to have the one. Let me show you. See? So it holds a bunch of airbrushes. It holds them well. It moves around. It's got a little weight in the bottom. So, anyway, that is that airbrush back. That is uh, my holder. So, let's go ahead and try my Mecha Empire Blue. This is airbrush ready. It, you can hear the ball bearings inside it. There you go. So, uh, it comes uh, ready to spray. Let me... Oh, I gotta get my... Uh, hold on, guys. Let me get a... Let me get a eyedropper so I can get it in the brush. One second. Alright, we're back. Alright, here we go. Let's put some in. We'll just spray a spoon or something with this before we do the airplane wing. There we go. Put this in my bucket of thinner back here. Alright, here we go. Let's check this baby out. Let's put my paint right there in the corner. Let's put the hose in this. All right, we are running with, I'm going a little less than they call for. I'm doing this at 20, it's like 22, 22 PSI. All right, let's just go ahead with one of my new spoons from the deli. Thank you, Tony, Mario, and Amanda. Wow, that is pushing some paint. And you know what? It atomizes it really well, too. Nice color. I realize my blue is this color. Wow, that's beautiful. That's it. It's covered. It's perfect. It's glossy. Didn't push a lot of paint like I thought it would. Look, we're all still full in there. Might as well put it back in the... <laughs> you know what? Let's try a gumpla piece. Here we go. Let's blow some of this air off. All right. You know what? It's kind of unique. I don't see how much control I have over it. It is pretty good. But I think it's the star of the show is you can put it on like a spray can, but it's not heavy. It's it's atomizing the paint really, really well. I should have cleaned this piece up nice. I just broke it off the sprue. I just wanted to see how it would work. But boy, you know what? This airbrush is really, really well. We'll go over at the at the bench, the results, but I can tell already this is impressive. All right, guys, let me put this aside. All right. All right. All right, let me get the uh, acetone and whatnot. Let's clean this thing up. Okay, guys, what I like to do is I like to get a shot of acetone, put it in the cup, and I like to make it hit the edges of the cup. Suck it up, push it in, and it cleans everything off the edge without having to waste a paper towel, so to speak. And I take the excess, I put it in my uh, my throwaway can there. Now we blow the rest out. Take one more. And I like to reverse flush, so it came with this cap. So we put this cap on. All right? Hold it well. And don't push it back a lot. You want to, see, I want to back flush really easy. I don't want to hold it towards the camera, just flash on the camera lens and probably melt it on me. And that's all. We flushed it out, and that's it. Now we're ready for the next color. Let me uh, show you what I like to do at the end. If there's still a little bit left, you know, push it all out and just wring it out with uh, a cloth. And when you spray into the your paper towel, if it's coming out clear, like it's not spraying blue, you're ready to go for the next color. And when I'm done, I will pull the needle out and wipe off the needle at the very end. But for now, we'll move on to the next color. Alrighty, next up we're going to try uh, my Mecha Empire Air Force Red Primer. So let's go ahead and do half of this wing. We're going to go with the 0.4 millimeter needle. Let's see how this works. Wow, it goes on really good. Look at how even. And I'm pushing a lot of paint and it's, there's a ton in here still, so it really atomizes the paint. It's really efficient. All right, we'll let this dry. 
look how nice it came out. And uh, let me clean this out. We'll move on to another color. Okay, guys. Next up, we're going to see how it sprays this Vallejo fluorescent red. Put it over a spoon. Shake it up, which I have already in my 4E's paint shaker. All right, let's just go straight in. Come on. Let's not put too much. Let's see if we can do it with very little. Let's see what we get. Nope, nope. See it? Two drops was too little. Probably with some flow improver. That'll help. Flow improver is good for... Uh, Chip dry. Oh, it sprays the Vallejo all right. Look at that. Even, nice. Probably better over white, I imagine. Yeah, I just like to spray uh, my acrylics over a primer. Let's just do half the spoon here. Hard to see in this lighting. Not bad. Well, it works pretty good. Let's let this dry. Vallejo looks much different once it's dry. Let me clean this out because it's a little trickier with the. I had to get my hot water trick to clean this out. And uh, we'll try some. Uh, we'll try the bigger needle. All right, guys, before we change the needle, let's see how thin we can get a, a line out of this thing. So let's. Uh, Let's put some black primer in here. This is all clad black primer. Let's see what we can get with this. Don't need that much, it would seem. And after this, we're going to try straight paint through the larger needle. And, uh, see what we can get. But I'm curious of two things. How it's going to lay primer down, this other brand of primer, on the wing. And if we can get some kind of thin line. Now, this is a point four. So I don't know how good we're going to get with this. Let me get this adjusted to my hand. There we go. Let me see if we can get some kind of a line here. Whoa, not too bad. And it's, it's not even sloppy. Just take the cap off. Got a little closer here. Don't lose the cap. I see it. I see it, guys. I didn't lose it. I didn't lose it. She's right there. Don't roll away, honey. All right, here we go. Try to find where the air is the point. You can get to the... Oh, my gosh. I can imagine how good this is with the... Uh, with the finer needle, but that does all right. I got to get used to the trigger mechanism, but... You know what? Let's try and go skinny to big, let's see. You know, so it will do the small line. Like I said, I think if you get the smaller needle, the medium like this, and then the big one, you can probably do any kind of paint you want. So let's go ahead, put this cap on so I don't forget about it. Not that you need it. I don't want to bump the needle. All right, so let's go ahead and prime this wing. I like uh, All Clad's black primer. It goes on like mine. I guess they're both the same type of paint. You'll see when it dries, it's a smooth black, like... Uh, Kind of like Mr. Surfacer. There we go. So we got both sides primed. We'll let this dry. It'll be semi gloss or matte colored once it dries. And uh, let's go ahead. We're going to switch out the needles, try some paint in the large needle, and we'll go over the results. All right, guys, time has come. Let's see how the larger needle works. All right. That's far enough. Oh, I'm going to get this closer to my body so I can work with it. All right. Now, we're going to do this. I'm trying to get it so the bolt doesn't fall out. All right, here's the needle. 
And uh, look at that, it's pretty clean. Just from the basic cleaning I was doing. Look at that. So let's put this aside where it's safe. Let's take the front off altogether. And, uh, and usually when I'm done with doing this anyway, I like to clean it out with that dental part that I showed you guys. But that's what doesn't roll away. All right, here we go. You wanna put the uh, nozzle in first. a different cap on the end. Well, you can see how big the... <laughs> it's like a garden hose. <laughs> I did want a, a larger needle size to lay down my... This was some of my larger scale car kits. Look at that. It's like a going spear fishing. Right across. Right in. That's it. That's it. I just changed the needle, we're ready to go. And you see how clean the other one was? It's easy to clean. Um, looks like this might be worth the money. Um, all right, let me get some pipettes here. Here's what we're gonna do. We wanna see how this works straight out of the bottle. No thinning at all. And uh, let's see if it, we get some good results. Yeah, that's enough. In my can back there. All right, let's see if she works. Uh oh, looks like she works. And she works quick. <laughs> oh, compressor's coming on. The sweet smell of Tamiya. Let's try it over white. You know, I wonder if I could turn the ear down. Let's see if that. Let me turn it down a little bit to 18 PSI. Let's see. Yep, I'm on 18. Yeah, you get a little more control. Oh, I run out of paint. No need to put any more. I just want to tell what went over the white spoon. And it, it sprays it without even thinning it. <laughs> I guess you could put a retarder in it if you want to. Wow, it's like glass, too. All right, let me put this aside. And we're going to try a metallic. Let's see how it sprays that, and then we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, final test. Um, to see how it sprays this metallic without thinning it. And I don't think it's going to have a problem because, boy, I just saw... <laughs> I just blasted the thinner through it. I should show you guys. It just came out like you see. It just drained it in two seconds. That's it, model built. It's done. <laughs> so this is pretty specific. Uh, I I was thinking of even getting the one the point the one point oh millimeter. I don't think it's required. I, I think the biggest you need to go is probably an eight. I mean, look at this. I just I just blew through that and covered it in one one coating and not even a little mist. I don't even know how lightly we can go. Let's see if we can let's see if we can go lightly with it. A little bit. It atomizes so well that you can get really close. It's still, with this big a needle in air, it still isn't really affecting the surface. Now this is a gloss? No, it's a flat. So that's how it ended up going on here. Wow. Well, and keep in mind, I didn't even thin it. It just, no thought given at all. Let me show you how much this pushes through. Check this out. Just put some lack of thinner in it. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> and that's it. It's a, it like cleaned it right out, too. <laughs> oh, man. It's pretty awesome. All right, guys. Let me uh, clean this out, even though it looks like it barely needs any cleaning. Look at this. And uh, we'll head back at the bench and we'll go over the results. All right, guys, here we are back at the bench. And uh, to wrap things up, it's uh, pretty nice. Um, I honestly don't have much bad to say about it. 
Uh, it just it sprayed everything well. This is my Mecca Empire Blue. Look at how nice it sprayed evenly over the piece. I mean, it, it just it atomized the paint beautifully. Um, here's the red. Look at that. This is the red with the uh, the large needle straight up without thinning it. Look at this. And one's over primer. Well, they both look the same. Here is my uh, Mecca Empire Red Primer. And that was in the 0.4 millimeter needle. Look at how smooth that primer went on. Covered beautifully. Here is the All Clad Black. I said it was a semi-gloss. Yep, it's it's very smooth. It's just like uh, Mr. Leveling. I mean, uh, Surfacer Black. Mine is... Uh, a little more of a gripper, a little, probably an 800 or a 1000, this is like a 1500, very smooth. Look at that though, put the primers on, no problem, that's with the .4. Um, it sprayed the Vallejo, where are we, oh here it is, Vallejo Model Air. Of course no thinning anyway, but beautifully, evenly, perfect. Um, and then we did uh, the copper, no thinning in the large needle, it blasted it right through without thinning it at all. One's over uh, primer and one's just over the plastic spoon. You pretty much can't tell the difference on these. But um, smooth. It, it's a, a wonderful, wonderful airbrush. The cleaning is so easy because you're only cleaning this little bit. Just this little pod right here. And here's the spacer that I put. Now you can remove that for a smaller hand. All right, you can adjust the tension in the spring as I showed. I liked it a little looser. You can flip this over if you're left-handed. Yeah, this is the smaller cup, it came with the larger cup. Um, nothing bad to say about it. Um, it's on the higher end at 260, but uh, it really is a unique airbrush. It's kind of a showpiece in and of itself too, but it really does perform and I don't see much going wrong with it. Um, as the mechanism is just machined so beautifully. It's a, a, a wonderful piece. I'll put the link below. Uh, I got this uh, spray gunner. And uh, hit the link below if you guys want to purchase one. I, I recommend it. The price is up there. Um, again, it's not great that we speak of price, but uh, sometimes you get what you pay for. This is a wonderful piece. It even sprayed, let's look at the lines here. It even sprayed you know, fine lines with a .4. I mean, these are like pencil lines, if you guys can see how thin these lines came. And I, and I just did that for the first time. You know, I was just wanting to see if, if you can get a, a fine line out of it, and you can. So, uh, it really is a great performing airbrush. Uh, I would choose two needle sizes. I would pick, uh, you know, maybe one in the middle, one of a larger, or maybe one of a much smaller, and maybe a four or a six. I'm not sure how many they have. They have a lot to choose from. And go with that. And, then, and then that could be your whole airbrush collection. Because this really does it all. Um, anyway, guys, that is it. Uh, it is Saturday night. I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your weekend. My birthday is coming up on Monday. And I'm hoping to get another video done on my special day. And I do have a few more things to review, such as this Hobby Mio airbrush, which, um, first looking at it quickly, it is really well made. So we will be testing this one. And um, I'm going to do an unboxing of this metal build, this F91 Gundam. I've always wanted a metal build, and uh, this one fell in my lap, so to speak. Half price. I couldn't pass it up. I don't want to go over it too much. We will go over that on camera. Maybe we'll, oops, maybe we'll build it and assemble it and get it in some nice poses. I got these nippers from Hobby Mio to test, so we have a bunch of other things coming up. I just got these paints in from Scale Coat. Uh, this is Scale Coat 2. This is their new lineup of paints. They're made in New England, where I live. Can you see that? These are, I believe, I don't know if they're a lacquer or an enamel. It doesn't say on the jar, but it's one or the other. It's a solvent base, but uh, I like the jars. Really robust. Uh, thick glass. Look at this purple. Look at that. And then uh, i got two kinds of black gloss and flat. Look at these two grays for an aircraft that I'm working on. An A-10 tank killer. And I will have, get this guys, Hyper Chrome from SMS coming. Cold tone, warm tone. Look at that. One, it's like black chrome and regular. 
So I'm hoping that's good. I do love this brand, and a full-blown test of SMS is coming up soon. So we are going to be busy. Anyway, guys, I love this airbrush. It's wonderful. Um, if you're looking to invest decent money into an airbrush, this is uh, you can do. Can't do any worse than this one. This is a beauty. And um, that's where we stand. All right, guys. Anyway, thanks for sticking by. Please like the video. It does help a lot. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I have a lot more tests to go. Thank you guys for sticking with me. You guys have been the absolute best. I do truly appreciate every one of you guys. And uh, once again, have a great weekend.